I'm quite excited in the new developments for Plasma 6.1, which brings improvements and new features to the popular desktop environment. Plasma 6 hits a stride with version 6.1, while Plasma 6.0 was all about getting migration to the underlying Qt 6 frameworks correct, which was a massive job. 6.1 is where developers start implementing the features that will need to take your desktop to a new level, which is the case for me because I absolutely love what they're doing with their access to remote Plasma desktops. This is their wonderful tool and one of the most useful tools for me being their remote desktop client that can help you connect and help people using things like KRDC, their native client application that allows you to control control a remote desktop session on another machine that is running a compatible server. Typically VNC and RDP support is needed for this, but what's fantastic and what's new here is that one of the more popular and useful features added in 6.1 is now that you can start up a remote desktop directly from system settings app. This means that you can get system admins who need to troubleshoot a user's machine or simply need to work on Plasma enabled computer that is out of reach. Setting up the connection is now just a few clicks away. Before it wasn't as intuitive to actually set up the server and get someone connected in to your desktop environment. Now it's much easier. Let's go check out how they've made this a lot better. All right, first off on the remote computer, they go and open up the settings app. In the settings app now, you can simply search for the RDP, which is the remote desktop. And since it's in settings, you can enable the RDP server very easily. You get an IP address and now you know which user can be accessed on that remote desktop. So they have 192.168.133. And now they go in and they simply hit OK to connect. Type in a username and password that is also set up on the remote computer as seen before. Hit OK and they're automatically connected in. That's how easy this is, which is a fantastic tool to have, especially if you're an admin who needs to access different remote computers on your local network, or of course, completely remotely, if you do have that port opened up. It's fantastic. I do appreciate remote desktop access and being able to more easily manage it on these Plasma desktops. They also have a few more things, including customization made more visual in 6.1. You can customize your Plasma desktop even better. Persistent app. There's a feature that remembers what you were doing in your last session, like it did under X11. It's still in progress, but they're coming through. And then syncing your keyboard's colored LEDs. It wouldn't be a new Plasma release without one of the fancy aesthetic customization features that this time, however, we are wanting to give you the power to reach beyond the screen all the way to your keyboard as you can now synchronize LED colors of your keys to match accent color of your desktop, which is pretty cool because if you're a big theming person and you like getting the color aesthetic aesthetic down is a fantastic way to do it. As you can see, the keyboard here matches the screen as it's changing colors. It's a fantastic feature for those of us who like the theming. You can, of course, see the keyboard changing colors as the various different wallpapers change. Pretty cool development for those of you who use it. Of course, there are many different other changes as well. We're not going to read about them quite yet. I'll post a link in the description below. If you are using KDE Plasma 6, you might want to think about upgrading the 6 point one for that newer remote desktop experience. I'm quite excited about it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.